Hello everyone, welcome back to Easy Tech Steps. Today I'm going to show you how to use Qubit Torrent to download and manage torrent files easily. This is a powerful tool with a simple interface and many great features. If you've already watched my previous video on how to install it, then this will be the next step to mastering the software. Let's get started. All right, to download files like movies, images, books, games, or anything else using the BitTorrent protocol, you'll need one of two things. A torrent file or a magnet link. A torrent file is a small file that contains information about the data you want to download, such as the file name, size, and tracker servers. A magnet link, on the other hand, is a direct link that doesn't require downloading a torrent file. Instead, it contains the necessary information for Qubit Torrent to start downloading the data immediately. In other words, a magnet link is a quicker way to start downloading without saving an extra file on your computer. So where do you find them? To find websites that provide torrent files or magnet links, you can search on Google using keywords like best torrent sites or most popular torrent sites. When you visit a torrent website, you'll see a magnet-shaped icon. That's the magnet link. Next to it, you'll usually find a button to download the .torrent file. Simply click on the magnet icon, and QBitTorrent will automatically recognize it and start downloading without needing a torrent file. If you're using a torrent file, the easiest way is to drag and drop the torrent file into the QBitTorrent window, or go to the File menu and select Add Torrent File. Select the folder to save the file on the left and choose which files to download on the right if there are multiple files. Then click OK to start the download process. Alright, now you know exactly how to find what you need to start downloading. Now let's get familiar with the QBitTorrent interface. First at the top, you have the toolbar. This is where you'll find buttons like Add Torrent, Remove Torrent, Pause or Resume Download, as well as the Settings button to customize the software to your preference. On the left side of the screen is the Status list, also known as Status. Here you'll see categories like Downloading for files currently being downloaded, Seeding for files that are being shared, Completed for files that have finished downloading, and other statuses like Stopped or Active. In the center of the screen is the Torrent list. Each torrent file is displayed with various details, such as name for the file name, size for the file size, progress for the download progress, and status for the current state of the torrent. You'll also see seeds and peers, which indicate the number of sources available. The higher the number of seeds, the faster the download speed. The columns down speed and up speed show the current download and upload speeds. Finally, at the bottom is the Detailed Information panel. Here you'll find tabs like General, which displays overall torrent details, Trackers, which lists the tracker servers, which lets you manage which files within the torrent you want to download. Select a torrent and click the General tab to view more detailed information. These are the basic and important sections of the QBitTorrent interface. Once a download is complete, you can right-click on the torrent and select Open Destination Folder to access the downloaded files. To remove a torrent, right-click and choose Remove. This will delete the torrent from the download or seeding list, meaning it will no longer be downloaded or shared with others. If you also want to delete the downloaded files, check the option Also Remove the Content Files before confirming. In the next video, I will share important settings when using Qubit Torrent and how to change its default interface. Check out the playlist link in the description of this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with more tutorials from EasyTech Steps. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.